In this problem, we're told a boy throws a rock with an initial velocity of 2.15 meters per second at 30 degrees above the horizontal. If air resistance is negligible, how long does it take for the rock to reach the maximum height of its trajectory? So in this problem, what we're going to be doing is basically solving for time, right? They're saying how long, so we're going to be solving for t. And so let's think about how we're going to solve this problem. So they tell us to find how long it takes to reach its maximum height. And the way you want to think about, right, if you look at this drawing, its maximum height, right, it's going to go something like this. So its maximum height is going to be up here. And how do you know when it's at its uh, maximum height? Essentially, what you need to know is just, uh, right, some projectile reaches its maximum height when the velocity in the y direction is equal to zero. So in this case, we're just going to set v final equal to zero. And so keep in mind, we're going to be working in the y, so all these variables are going to be in the y direction. So let's talk about what we're given. So obviously, the v final in the y direction is zero. We know the acceleration in the y direction is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Right, that's just a constant for every single uh, problem like this. And then if we have the v final, we have a and we're solving for t, we can use this equation right here and just know that we need to find v sub zero or the initial velocity in the y. Keep in mind they give us um, the vector, right? So 2.15 uh, 2 meters per second at 30 degrees. So if we want to find the y component. All you have to do is just do 2.15 times the sine of 30. So you should know how just to find the y component. So 2.15 times the sine of 30, that's going to be uh, v sub zero. And now we have v, v sub zero, and a, and we can just solve for t. So all you got to do is just plug it in. So let's just rewrite the equation. v equals v sub zero plus a times t. So v is zero because that's when it reaches its maximum height. Uh, it's going to be the initial velocity in the y. So this is just equal to 1.075. And then it's plus a negative number, so just minus 9.8 times t. And then just solve for t. So minus this to the other side. And then you're going to get minus 1.075 equals minus 9.8t divided by minus 9.8. And so go ahead and do this, and you're going to get that t equals 0 0.10969, which is basically just 0 0.110. And so keep in mind this is in seconds. So 0.11 seconds. And if we look at our answer choices, we can see b is the exact same. So your answer to this problem is going to be b. And yeah. Hopefully you found this useful.